Hi, we're Sarah and Ryan, and big things are happening with the start of our cabin build. The forms for our cabin foundation will be set up soon and the concrete will be poured. This means that we need a stable road for a cement truck to drive on all the way up to our build site. The dump truck is coming with gravel and a, That's a lot of rock. That's a lot. Hopefully, we know what it takes to build a solid road. We also have to deal with some big trees that are a potential threat to our future cabin. Whoa, there's so much sky. We're excited for you to follow along. So sit back and enjoy. And if you like this episode, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hey guys, we're on our way up to our property. Uh, it's the week of Thanksgiving and we know we're going to spend some of that with our family uh, later in the week. So we're getting up here to take care of a couple of really important things. Uh, we have the uh, dump trucks. We have two loads of three inch minus coming, which is the rock that we'll be using to make uh, a road going up from the end of where our road is now to up to the build site. And that's really important because the cement trucks need to have a stable ground to be able to bring their pump truck and their cement truck in. We had the contractor come out and they just didn't feel comfortable with the state of the road that it's in right now. So we're gonna be safe. We're gonna bring in a couple loads of rock and they're gonna try to spread it. Uh, now, the one thing we don't know is when they dump the rock, if they're going to be able to spread it all the way up to the build site. So if they aren't, then I get to play with uh, my tractor and I get to uh, spread the spread the rock uh, out. So there's part of me that hopes they're able to spread it and part of me that hopes they aren't because then I get to play with my tractor. So that's a little, little this, little that. And then this is kind of our first trip that we'll be able to use Manuel kind of for multiple days and it's colder now, so we'll really be able to put him to the test and see how he heats up the yurt when it's a little bit colder outside. Those are ours? I think so. All right. What are we hauling, Sarah? <laughs> we have two bales of hay up on top of the van. the land and we're going to go down to the pump house because we have to winterize. In the past we've just truly winterized the well. We've uh, just drained the lines and because we just knew we wouldn't use it uh, during the winter but we're gonna be up here a lot more this year so uh, I got heated pipe tape and we're Ooh. gonna put that on. That's the first time I've seen it. Yeah it's I cool. didn't know it was electrical. I was just like oh it's probably some metal tape. Yeah, no, and then you put the insulation over the top of it and it uh, keeps the pipes from freezing. Cool. Yeah. Okay, well, this is a cooler project than I thought it was going to be. So, anyway, it's still rainy and dark here and uh, I'm tired. That's but the Northwest. We will we'll get it done. This is a pressure tank. A pressure tank. So, here we go. I obviously did not help with any of the installation of this because I don't know what anything else. Okay, we finished the project over in the pump house and got that all insulated. And now we're back checking on Manuel and he's chugging along. So, Ryan had a little problem starting him. There's like a light that is supposed to flash on and off. Yeah, the warning signal means that the, the control board had an error, but we had that problem happen last time and I turned off the electrical um, and 
just had only the pellet stove running and it, then it turned on. So I'm kind of wondering if it's a voltage issue. We don't have our permanent electrical ran right now. So we do have some voltage loss. So I'm guessing that that's probably the issue. And this will permanently, the yurt will end up being permanently ran by sol solar, solar yeah. power anyway. So that, I don't know, we'll issue. figure all that out when we come along. And then one thing Ryan did too, we ended up putting a CO2 detector in here. So there's ever an issue with the pellet stove, too much exhaust, that'll go off and let us know. Be safe. We are starting our day. We have a construction rock guy coming. He's gonna dump two giant loads of construction rock on our property behind me, and we are gonna spread it all the way to the build site. And Ryan explained yesterday in the car that this is for our cement truck to come by. We have other things we're doing though too. We are first going to, there's Ryan, we're going to um, put a bunch of rock into this nice bucket and drive it down our road. Our road has a few soft spots in it that we're worried about it. And in all actuality, we probably need new gravel put down on it, but gravel costs a lot more than one would think. So we're, we're into a little patchwork ourselves. We know that at some point we just have to bite the bullet and get it done correctly, but we're gonna see how long it takes to do that. We're done doing the project up the road as much as we're gonna get done before the guy comes with the two dump loads of construction rock. So right now I'm gonna make us a quick lunch and so we all have power and energy because once the big load of rock comes, I think we're just working all day long to get it spread as best as we can with the tractor and the kids help and all that stuff. So there you go. And this is what, if you ever wonder what our other dog does when we're projecting. here right now so our rock is here sooner than we thought so we're gonna go meet with him and get it all dumped you guys i love watching these guys come up and do this work like it's amazing just the amount of work they can get done with a piece of machine <laughs> blows my mind so anyway we're gonna walk down the road and go meet him so the last time I talked to you, I was like, oh my God, he's here. And then he wasn't here. This is a total false alarm. Um, now he's here. And we found out that we're gonna have a tree feller also come up today. So it's like all the people are coming up today. It's a little bit hectic because Ryan actually has a call that he has to be on for his real job. And <laughs> it's all just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God today. And then tomorrow's gonna be really rainy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is though. We will get done what we get done, but I'm really excited about the dump truck. The dump truck just pulled up. He's going to turn around right now and he's going to back in and then he's going to pull up all the way to the dig site behind me um, and run the three inch minus rock, which is like big construction rock, uh, all the way up to the build site so that the construction uh, mixers don't sink into the soil and so they have plenty of uh, stability. He's gonna bring two big uh, dump trucks full of this three inch minus and then we'll likely still have to spread some of it around. Uh, it's about 60 tons of rock, so should be plenty of stability for the cement rucks. And here he comes.
that's so that's so cool, isn't it? Your smile is like enormous when he goes by. I mean, it's like you're a kid again. That's like, pretty that's cool, cool. Eddie. That's a lot of rock. That. Okay, so our tree feller guy actually came between our dump truck bringing us two loads. So we have like contractor overload. Is that what they're called, contractors? We have people people helping overload. <laughs> but um, that's better than no help, right? We have a tree feller coming and he's gonna cut down uh, that tree, that tree, that tree and that big cedar uh, just to open up a view for us and just to give a little bit of extra protection for our house so that those trees don't fall on us. So once we, those trees are down, then we'll be bucking them and probably cutting them up, getting them out of the way. So we have a busy day ahead of us. It is morning. We got a, Sarah and I got a little work in, and you can tell it is a rainy, dreary day out today. Um, we had the rock uh, delivered last night, and I got a little bit of it spread with the tractor, but it got dark, so I had to stop. Um, so there's a few spots uh, like behind me here where I need to fill in a couple gaps, so I'll dump some of that with the tractor. Um, we're doing that so the concrete truck, uh, mixer truck, has a nice solid uh, foundation, uh, so there's no chance of them getting stuck in uh, the, the grass because it's really, really wet out here. Um, and then after that, we had a tree feller come and fall five trees, so we now have a pretty mm, uh, tree mess to clean up. So uh, I'll, I'll cut to some pictures of that, but to show you what we are working on, We've got our work cut out for us today, and I'm gonna get to work. When you see the whole world shaking, and you feel your heart is breaking, take my hand, no hesitating. Getting ready to head home. So today is pack up day and of course it's beautiful weather and yesterday was like completely awful weather. That's like how it always goes for us. But anyway, Ryan has decided and I totally agree with him that we should clear the water lines in our trailer. This is gonna be the first year where we don't cover our trailer for the winter because we know we're gonna be coming up here more. So we are still gonna blow out the lines and whatever water might be left in there would be little droplets. So if it does freeze, it doesn't expand the hoses and doesn't cause any damage. Beyond that, we figured out that the door on our yurt is either it's sealed with stain that wasn't heavy duty enough or it just wasn't sealed and it could have been an oversight on our part. So we're gonna cover that too. We're gonna kind of create like a tarp tent because unfortunately right now the wood is expanding because it's getting wet and there's actually, you can already see water damage down at the bottom of it. So that is like 
mega bummer. Hopefully we can get it good and dry and put on a really good sealer on there. And other than that, yesterday we spread the, um, the straw over here on this mound and all the way down. We got two bales, bales of hay and it was more than enough. So that's great. Ryan got the road all laid back here and then pack and then head home because tomorrow is Thanksgiving for us. Oh, yeah.